What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm sorry, I think it's been like over a month since I've done a video uh, with the Sequoia here. And if you look behind me, you can see that it may look a little different. So I'll give you guys updates, kind of show you what I've done and talk about what today's plan is because I am going on a very exciting trip. This is really just like a couple night trip and the goal is to test this thing out more. If you watched my first video, it was just a one night camping trip in a local forest nearby and that didn't go exactly as planned, but I definitely learned a lot and I wanna kind of take it up a notch. So go on a multi-day trip now and yeah, just see what works, what doesn't work and hopefully figure some stuff out and have fun as well. So I'll give you guys more details on that soon. Um, first of all, I want to kind of show you guys what the Sequoia is looking like. Everything's kind of put together and assembled. Just to be clear, there's videos on almost everything I did here. Um, so if you're curious on how I built the stuff, uh, go check out my channel and there's videos um, on how to build this stuff. First of all, there are the drawers. So these, pull out to about six feet so plenty of room for gear I don't have anything in this drawer yet but this is my like photo gear video gear drone gear again this one pulls out to six feet underneath all of these blankets and everything there is just a foam pad that I got from Home Depot for like 20 bucks never slept on it don't know if it will be comfortable, but I think it should be an upgrade from the sleeping pad I had last time I tried camping in this thing. And then of course I got blankets and sheets and all the stuff trying to make it like as comfortable as possible. I got this big water jug, seven gallons, so hopefully it should last at least a couple days. Then I got this, I guess you could call it like a dresser, but basically these drawers slide open and I have all of my clothes, sweatshirts, everything I need right in here. Um, and I like that because I can be in the car and be able to grab clothes, change, do all that stuff without having to go outside. Lots of people seem to put their clothes in like these drawers, which I get, like there's lots of storage and stuff. Uh, but the biggest thing for me was like, I don't have access to that stuff right away. Um, I'd have to like go outside and grab it. So I decided to put the clothes in this big dresser up here. The only other thing I did, and I just did this yesterday, so I haven't really tested it out, but I used some Reflectix. It's just like this insulation material and you can get it at like Home Depot, any of the hardware stores. Basically what I did, and there's a lot of videos on how to do this on YouTube. So if you're curious, like you can Google like Reflectix, like uh, car camping, stealth camping, window blackout, like any of that and it should come up. But basically I cut it to shape for each of these windows, which was, uh, it was not fun. It took a while. And then I used little Velcro strips which then allows me to stick these pieces to the window. I'll be curious to test it out and kind of see how it works. I ended up covering the outside in black, uh, black duct tape and it took a lot of duct tape, quite like a, pretty much an entire roll. Um, so I don't know if that would be the best method. Uh, some people use like a like black spray paint or um, some type of black fabric. So you might want to look into something like that just might be a little quicker. I think it took me like four to five hours to do all of the windows. And I didn't do the front windshield or the front two windows because I have some other blackout setup which I can show you guys later. I haven't really done too much more to the inside. It's pretty much just been putting all of the things I've made in here at once. I think that's pretty much it for the inside. Let me jump to the outside and show you guys what I've done. I've really only done three things to the outside of the Sequoia. The first is new wheels and tires. And I guess I should say they're new to me. I got them used off of Facebook Marketplace. Wheels and tires are extremely expensive for this car. And if I was gonna get new wheels and tires, I'd wanna get like some actually cool ones, methods uh, or something like that, 33 inch tires, you know. I decided to go the cheaper route. Uh, I just can't afford to spend two or three K on a wheel and tire setup right now. Um, so I got these on Facebook Marketplace. They're from a, I think it's like 2018 or 2019 Toyota Tacoma. They've got about like 50% tread left. So perfect for me. Uh, they're cheap and they hopefully should give me a little bit more traction. So that's what they look like. They're 15 inch wheel. And I think they're, they're Goodyear Wrangler tires. That's the first thing I've done. Second thing is I did an LED headlight conversion. I basically just put LED headlights um, right in here. It's super easy. It's a plug and play. And the last thing, if you look down here, is an LED light bar. I got a cheap one off Amazon. Uh, seems to work well. It seems super bright. Took a little bit of custom work to get it to fit properly behind that grill. The brackets that it came with were too tall, so the light bar was actually fully blocked behind the bumper. 
when I first put it on, so I had to make my own custom brackets. That's pretty much an update to the Sequoia. And as far as the trip today, I'm headed to a different state, going down to California, and I'm gonna go spend some time in the Redwoods. So with all of that being said, I'm gonna finish packing, then I need to go get some gas, which that's not gonna be fun, filling this thing up. Um, and then I'm gonna start driving. It's currently raining in Portland. It's been raining an insane amount this year. So uh, hopefully get some nicer weather down in California. It's always a weird feeling just to pack up all your stuff and hit the road, but that's exactly what I've done today. I got all of my stuff packed, at least I hope. Um, got some food and now it's time to go get some gas and start driving. Let's go. Update. just made it through Eugene I don't usually go farther south than Eugene so it'll be kind of cool I think lots of the roads will be pretty new for the rest of the drive close to I think Grant Pass Oregon now it's pretty crazy to think that this is all still Oregon it's very different than the Oregon I'm used to up north made it to Grant's Pass just filled up with some gas and gonna grab some food and just step out of the car for a bit and then it looks like about two hours to where I'll be camping well folks I uh, made it to California so this is exciting, in another state now. Um, just have a, about an hour or so left to the campground. All right, I'm definitely in the Redwoods now. I just saw a sign for Jedediah Smith State Park, which I think is one of the main ones. Definitely in the Redwoods now, this is amazing. Oh my gosh. I made it to my campground. Pretty quiet here. It's Memorial Day right now, so I bet a lot of people are just left today. And uh, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it stays pretty quiet through the next few days. The Sequoia made it here just fine. I think for now, I'm gonna grab dinner and then maybe drive down and see if I can go to the beach around sunset. <laughs> Morning guys, um, it's officially the next day and I will say that this camping setup with a foam mattress and the comforter and blankets and everything went so much better than my first trip. I think also having the kind of like the blackout insulation pieces for all the windows also helped a lot too just, um, just to add that layer of privacy but yeah overall so much better so excited about that. Super nice day today. It was pretty windy last night, but the sun is out now and it seems pretty calm, so I'm probably gonna go out and explore the redwoods today. And yeah, I'll show you guys some of the stuff I see. So I made it to the Redwoods, actually just exploring this one trail right now. It's just a short little hike, just a loop trail, but it's super pretty. There's like no one here. So there were a few cars in the parking lot, but so far I haven't seen anyone out pretty much all by myself.
just looking at all these trees behind me, I know it would be pretty amazing to fly drones through here. But obviously, I want to respect the rules and they're not allowed. But man, that would be some cool, there would be some cool shots here. Just finished up a short hike. It was absolutely gorgeous. And I think for now, I don't really have any other plans just besides exploring. I'm just gonna keep driving down this road. It looks like uh, on the maps that there might be a river down there. I have no idea if there's any access points or anything, but I'm just gonna go check it out. Gosh, I'm going like under five miles an hour and jeez. I don't know, but I guess we'll find out here. Oh, this is cool. It looks like it kind of opens up here. Down by the river. Sweet. So this is kind of cool. I just found a spot down by the river. Just uh, there's a few other cars here, so I'm guessing I can just hang out. I didn't see any, no parking or no day use or any of those signs, so I'm just gonna chill here for a bit. There is a lot of just open area behind me, uh, and I don't really know what's out here, so I think I'm just gonna go walk around and just do some exploring. I really wanna find a spot to fly drones tonight, and I think I still might be in the National Forest uh, boundaries, not exactly sure, so I kind of just think I'm gonna go explore, see what's out there, and then after that maybe drive back into town so I can grab service and just check to see if any of these areas are outside of the forest boundary. Because if, if I could find a spot that's just on the edge and just outside and I could fly, um, this would just be a really gorgeous spot to come back to either at sunset or in the morning, um, and it's pretty quiet. Clearly cars have made it up this, but um, I mean, I don't have the absolute best tires, and don't have any like recovery methods or friends to help me get out of it if I do get stuck so I don't know I might not I might not try and take it up some of these more advanced uh, roads quite yet I'm sure in the summer this bucket's super busy because um, there's like great river access and when it's hot this would be a perfect spot to swim but um, it's Tuesday just after Memorial Day and uh, it's pretty freaking quiet Also, check out this water, guys. I don't know if you can tell, but this this water is super, super clear. I bet it's cold, too. It's cold, but it feels good. Definitely not used to all this sun. Oh my gosh, feels good, though. It does open up out there. It's pretty out there. I don't know if the Sequoia can make it. Um, probably could, but I'm also like six hours away from home and stuff, so I don't want to push anything. As nice as this spot is, Definitely want to uh, go do some more exploring just so um, in case there's a better spot out there, I don't miss it.
no idea what is down here. Uh, <laughs> but we're gonna check it out. Hopefully it doesn't just like dead end or something. All right, here's another big drop. I guess we're just gonna try it. It's no problem for the Sequoia. I honestly thought it would be worse, but um, I guess the biggest thing will be, can we get back up? <laughs> so I was just driving on the way out and saw this other trail and there doesn't seem to be anyone here. So I'm gonna go check it out. to town got some food hung out there for a little bit uh, and then came back out to the redwoods I went a little farther down on this like rocky beach area and you can see sequoia behind me got this big open area when I was back in town too I checked the airspace and as long as I'm like out on this far section here uh, I should be okay to uh, fly drones I might hang out here and wait for sunset and then maybe try and get a couple drone flights in um, before heading back to the campground. It's Tuesday right now and I'm trying to decide what I want to do tomorrow. I have the campsite booked for tomorrow night in case I want to stay another night but I also really want to go to the southern Oregon coast and I think it's a little too far for a day trip just with these gas prices down here it's almost seven dollars a gallon and I feel like if I decide to go up that way towards the Oregon coast might as well just keep going on home and skip that like third night I have planned for here or I decide to hang out and just spend another day hanging out here. Super pretty and super calm night. I was able to get a few drone flights in, so that was pretty awesome. I don't know if any of the footage is gonna be insane or anything. It was pretty much just flying around and um, just enjoying the night. Good morning. <clears throat> Good morning, guys. It was definitely a busier night at the campsite last night. A lot more people showed up. This sequoia still was great for sleeping in. Um, having those blackout blinds and the foam sleeping pad that I got from uh, Home Depot seems to be working well. Just been like getting some breakfast, making some tea, just kind of like hanging out around the campsite. And then I think I was uh, I was talking last night about either going up the Oregon coast and maybe back to Portland or just spending another day here since I have the campsite tonight as well. 
And I think I just might hang here and do some more exploring. Looks like there's actually a Redwood National Park, which I didn't even know about. Um, just a little bit farther uh, south, so I might just, uh, once I finish breakfast and everything, go and check that out. So I randomly uh, was just out driving and exploring and found this hike, and it's super foggy. There's some pink flowers out, and wow, this is uh, the reason I sometimes like having no plan. If you had asked me what my dream conditions would be while I was on this trip to the Redwoods, I would have said fog with the sun bursting through and getting those light rays. And look at that. Amazing, amazing. this one morning just made this entire trip worth it all of the gas money uh, all of the time spent driving everything just like that it's back to fog I spent most of the night just hanging out um, down at this beach parking lot. Uh, I was able to like walk around on the beach and take a few photos and everything and just enjoy the last night here. And then for the past like 30 or 40 minutes I've just been up here hanging out and trying to uh, plan out my day for tomorrow. I do want to go up the Oregon coast since I am so close. It adds like an hour and a half, maybe two hours of driving um, on the trip back to Portland, but I think if I leave early, I'll have time to kind of like make a few stops along the coast and uh, maybe get a few drone flights in, take some photos. I guess we'll see what the conditions are looking like tomorrow. If it's windy, if the sun's out, all of that. Overall, it's been a super amazing night. Today in general was pretty awesome. Uh, starting out with some amazing hikes in the Redwoods. I got a shower in at the campsite, which is super nice. And then just spending this evening hanging out at the beach and um, walking around. And yeah, the weather's been awesome this whole trip. It hasn't really rained at all yet. The first the first day and second day, I wasn't so sure how I was feeling about the whole trip and the idea of like camping in the car. But the more I've done it, the more I've really uh, started to enjoy it. That's probably going to do it for this video. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this and I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, it was definitely a fun adventure and I'm glad that I made the trip down here. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time.